This morning I just did a workout from The Workout, that's what they're called. Um, they have some stuff on YouTube, they also have like their own platform. I'll link them down below in the description box if you want to go check them out. <laughs> plan out my day and do some reading while I sit in the sun. <sighs> okay, finally talking to the camera. Where? Look into the camera. It needs a clean. A spot of makeup to make me feel alive and put together for the day. any of my international watches you could probably just hear that kookaburra that is real normal over here and I had this huge planet of a pimple pop up last night and of course I picked it not good not good there's no point in covering it like they say and then go ahead and cover it I have to say my favorite products because I'm I'm a clean makeup skincare kind of girly is is the bare minerals stuff it is the tits it's actually so good like it works like normal makeup Not just kind of like from a young age like I got into I got very into like low tox clean life I did a lot of research and stuff when I was younger and now I can't go back. I can't go back. I also found this other great skincare, skincare, makeup clean brand. This one is literally, I got like all of their little like sample sets, but it's literally called Wondery Skin Food. And I actually just got like a set of their um, like sample things because I just wanted to try it. And these things have lasted me so long. Because you don't need much. You really don't need much. Oh, feels so good to get ready. Ah. Okay, I'm now going to sit down and do some work. I have a list for myself today. I have to make some calls. I have to edit some things. And I have to prep for a roving gig tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. I'm doing juggling roving. Roving essentially means like instead of doing an act on like a stage you are like walking around a space and you're essentially like they call it like activating a space which wording who knows what that really means but you're just like helping create like atmosphere so I need to prep for that tomorrow I need to like look through that email and just make sure I know where I'm going what I'm doing for all of that. Um, I sent one of my best friends a present for her birthday and she said it turned her day around. Bah! Yeah, I have to edit some videos for my, for my media kit slash like my UGC media kit for online because I have started to like delve into that as well because I just, like I want to be honest with you guys, I have been struggling I don't earn that much online and I'm also I've like been struggling with like my social media content I just I've needed to like mix things up so in an attempt to try and help myself feel better about making content um, because it can get boring and it can get stagnant at times yeah even here on YouTube so if you have like videos that you want to see from me if you want to see like more vlog style stuff or if you want to see more like challenge circus challenges or like handstand challenges let me know because you guys help to inspire me as well and if you're not following me on Instagram 
you should head on over there because I post a lot more like different stuff and then I'm also on TikTok but I'm just repackaging and recycling content onto TikTok from Instagram so pick pick your platform pick your poison <laughs> just like I don't even like thinking about this stuff sometimes too deeply like it sends me into an existential crisis that I don't know what I'm doing and realistically what adult does know what they're doing um let me know if you can relate I'm sure lots of people can like especially when we're going through like our 20s and like maybe our early 30s like we can feel real lost like I used to think I knew my purpose which was becoming a circus performer but then that's such a huge thing like when you have a goal and then you reach that goal and then you move beyond the goal like i got into a circus company i was performing and then like i'm not performing anymore it's like i would love to keep performing like it's really hard to find work as a circus performer slash i'm just not having a very good year for finding that kind of work like Yes, I say that like the day before I have like a roving gig tomorrow, but the inconsistency of it is not ideal. So hence where I, I'm really trying to diversify my social media stuff. I recently released a like handstand troubleshooting guide, which I'll leave the link in the description box below. Like you can check that out. Like I'm trying to get lots of different things up and running. I'm essentially just throwing lots of pasta at the wall and trying to see what sticks and it feels like a lot of stuff is falling off that wall. A lot of pasta is falling and failing. I, I should stop rambling and actually do some work. Yeah. Um, I had a question for, um, about getting skinny. We got some lunch. I have leftover nachos that I made last week and leftover honey soy drumsticks that I made last week as well. It's, it's a lunch of leftovers. Okay, I just took a nap. That was so nice. Now, it's time to do some handstands, which I always struggle to get into training handstands after a nap, but... Once I'm doing it, I'm like, ah, yes, this is good. So let's get ready. We have got Lulu pants. These are like actually like a navy blue and then a Dharma buns top. I have got no idea if I'm saying that right. I love this one. It's so cool. It's a little bit different at the back. Kind of feels weird on my back. Like I feel a bit sensitive about like where bra straps like go, but it's funky, it's fun, and it doesn't bother me too much if I don't wear it for like too long. Let's go do some handstand training. Not a lot has changed with my training. It is still very similar in a lot of ways, and yet at the same time, I have been trying to mix it up. I have been started to get back into the variety of flexibility I sort of like got really stagnant with my training for a bit it still does feel a little bit stagnant like it feels like it's coming out of that stagnation which is really nice but I have also started to like mix up my one arm training to try and get a bit more variety back into it which I'm really happy about I also if you've been following me on Instagram you'll notice that I've been doing a lot more which is because the the Brisbane sex community it's it's come through like we have we have a little crew that trains together which is so lovely there's been two bases that have been hanging out in Brisbane a fair bit and so we've been doing some acro with them and with some of the other gals that are around as well so today is my normal my normal one arm handstand program which has a focus on like endurance and getting that balance endurance time up and then I'm doing my normal stretch plus I'm doing overflex which I finally bought yoga blocks for 
I'm so happy about that. Good morning, it is Wednesday. We are roving. It's like 8.15 now. I'm going to do, good. I'm gonna do my makeup um, and get ready. So, in the height of fun transitions. I'm running late. I'm not running late. I have five minutes. I need to make some breakfast to go and then we need to get there, find things. It was a nightmare getting here, parking, well, just parking, but the cute ass outfit that I'm wearing. Woo! <laughs> and it started, so today I'm doing like 20 minutes on, sort of walking around down there, and then I get a 10 minute break, which is really nice. I like that interval running. And I'm gonna touch up my makeup a little bit, have a little rest, pee. And then go back down there again and entertain some kids and chat to them, which is so lovely. I have to do a costume change because the sequins on this are like shredding my arm up from like juggling and like moving my arms like over those spots. So I'm really glad I brought a spare costume. I haven't worn this costume before. I love it so much, so I'm really excited to wear it. <sighs> So much better now my arms have like spots to juggle without chafing it is such a weird thing to have to consider anyway i'm up to my third or fourth set so yeah i'm up to my fourth set so i've got three more sets to do and then i'll be done it's super cute chat to the kids the kids are like oh wow me done that actually went so quick it's like 1 p.m. now oh, I just gotta like pack up everything and then I'm gonna go for a little shot because there is a, a crazy craft I don't know if that's how you say it there's one of them here I'm gonna get a bottle of champagne or something to celebrate with my partner and I'm gonna pop into Woolies because like Woolies is like right there Woo. I am back home now. I'm making some lunch. I have made soup noodles and we've got some spring onions to garnish. And you bet your bottom, there is kimchi going in this as well. I also have some leftover meat from a dinner a couple nights ago. Yum! Mm. And then I'm gonna take a fat nap because I'm tired after walking around on my feet all morning and juggling. It was, the tiredness is catching up and hitting me now. I'm gonna take all this makeup off before I take a nap because I don't want it to go everywhere. Um, like I mentioned yesterday, I am a huge, big fan of like clean skincare and makeup products. Makeup reusable wipes are the tips. These ones are literally the like the Santo ones. It's technology that has actually been like designed so that you're not just like smearing makeup like all over your face. Like it actually like takes it off. They have a ton of other products as well. Like it's not just like makeup if you haven't heard of them before. Like they have like, it's like a facial like washer, exfoliator, 
same for body and then not only that but they do cleaning products as well they are so good not affiliated not sponsored or anything just love them go, go, go. I, I just get this nice and wet and then i literally wipe off all this makeup look at all of that it's all gone and then the eyes like look at that it just wipes it off so good like it's not smearing it around or anything oh it's so good and then you literally just like wash these things in the washing machine which makes them so easy to like reuse and then a really good clean skincare brand is Acure. I really like their stuff. Pretty, like, a little bit on the spinny side, but this cleanser I just keep on coming back to. Drying towel as well. Dante, if you want a sponsor, please. I just. Like, I got to a stage where I was wearing makeup so much for performing and taking it off so much that I really wanted to like use good products but my problem is I don't like spending a huge amount of money reoccurringly on like skincare and so these like you just buy them once and then you're like using them for a very long time so it's like really good money worth of a product. I'm gonna put some moisturizer on and go take a nap because I am tired. Oh, I just had a lovely nap. Um, I have literally like, dumped everything, so I kind of need to like tidy up everything that I kind of just like tucked down before. Tonight we have tacos. Well, brisket, brisket tacos with a little side salad and a little champagne glass to celebrate. And then we are going to watch the soccer game. Whee! Good morning. It is Thursday. I was about to say Friday. Oh, I keep on doing that. Today is a go into a circus training space and hang out and train with some friends. I don't know if I'm going to do a workout first this morning or I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. I've been trying out a new workout app and I've been trying out the one called Ladder. So I might do I might do one of those workouts. Okay, I have decided I'm going to do a workout. I'm going to try another one from Ladder. I started to do that last night. Um, I'm also having a little coffee as like a little pre-workout. I'm actually trying to drink less caffeinated coffee consistently. So I started that like a couple days and I kind of want to do a little series on like Instagram and TikTok of me trying to drink less coffee or less caffeinated coffee slash finding alternatives that I enjoy. So leave me Instagram here. You can go and check that out and hopefully follow along in that little series that I post soon. Anyway, let's work out. Holy moly. I am so sweaty after that. That was so good. I really felt challenged in that workout. So I'm going to just keep doing the trial and then see how I go. I'm like, I'm, I am dripping <laughs> love it now i'm gonna have some breakfast and fuel up i am also watching uh cirque physios uh aerial warm-up that i got i would highly recommend she has the most amazing resources it's all back she has a degree like she's so knowledgeable i'd really highly recommend if you're looking for more like exercises in like anything circus related she covers so much she mostly covers like aerials and handstands and lots of flexibility and mobility stuff but it is it's the tits like i would highly recommend but i'm gonna eat some breakfast fuel up and then today we are heading into the circus training space Woo.
the figure. I saw. <laughs> It is post training and I've had a sauna and a shower and some lunch and now I am finally getting a moment to sit today and get some like work and stuff done. So if you aren't if you aren't following me on Instagram, I do post like a couple things on there that I don't like you wouldn't really see on YouTube. Um, I did a little vlog of the work slash morning that I had yesterday when I went and did that roving gig. So I posted that. I am doing a one-off circus workshop at a boys school tomorrow morning, which I'm not a huge fan of teaching kids classes, but we like work. So I'm gonna write myself a little lesson plan of what we're gonna do for that. And then to end the day, I am going some paint by numbers that I got yesterday and watch some TV and eat some dinner and chill out because it's been a big day and I'm real tired. But that concludes this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what daily life is like for a circus performer slash content creator. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button because it really shows your support for this channel. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this one and the little notification bell to be notified whenever they come out onto the interwebs. And also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or whatever you choose. I pretty much post the same things on those platforms. Instagram is probably better because I post more stuff on the stories there. If you watched to the end, thank you to my true fans. And I will see you all next time. Bye.